we are recording uh, the flight. This is a uh, B-52G bomber from the United States Air Force and assigned to NASA. We are flying out of a military base and uh, we are just testing some of the features. Uh, we're um, started and made flight. Uh, we are we are at 37,000 feet or something like that and uh, flying at about a 180 knots fairly level this is a B-52 has eight jet engines you see all the gauges on the right uh, these are the engine they're at full power and we are having an, an easy flight here this is a very smooth aircraft takes a lot of wind and it's a uh, it was it has been the b-52 has been flying for since 1952 or something like that uh, it's a um, and it's still active today it carried uh, atomic weapons mainly during the Cold War um, it used to refuel over Canada on a regular basis flying out of uh, New York State as an example one of the bases a SAC Air Base in New York State um, they used to take off and head for Moscow or one a Soviet target and would turn around uh, would turn around after a predetermined position unless of course the war war had would have had started um, I'm gonna go outside and show you some of the surroundings that's what it looks like from following the aircraft just go and See the marking, United States Air Force and NASA. flies like a whale. It takes a lot of control to get it to. So uh, you look around the uh, the usually what we on a typical small aircraft the aileron. See on the wing here. That's to get it to to roll. There we're rolling to the right and to the left. The uh, elevator gets the plane to go up and down. It's, it's in the back. And then of course is the rudder, the foot control that I have here. You can see the other rudder. And then uh, if you want the flaps, I'm just gonna go down. It's got big flaps. Flaps are fully down, and then uh, it's got air brakes, which is really the. Oh, I press the better pull the wheels. Air 
air brakes is just the short runway back inside see the typical standard gauges of an aircraft the attitude indicator that blue and brown gauge on the left altitude and feet the indicated airspeed IAS on the left there we're flying at about 168 or something like that we have compasses we have vertical speed on the uh, sort of in a metal vertical speed we don't have a turn co uh, coordinator so I don't see one So I can fly the aircraft by just looking at the gauges. Uh, I can see the gauge, the attitude indicator there, the, the little plane, all well, that's, I have to keep it in the blue because if it goes in the, in the brown, it will it'll, uh, eventually hit the ground. I purpose of this flight here was to see what altitude that I could reach with the P-52, 40,000 feet. And of course is the uh, on top there uh, you'll see the Communications and the navigation, COM1, NAV1, COM2, NAV2. Uh, the navigation is usually a VOR receiver. And um, it usually in conjunction with one of these gauges on the bottom here, it works. So a lot of the navigation that I use when I fly, I will use the VOR beacons to go from point A to point B. I took off from a uh, United States Air Force base, and I don't even know what uh, from what part of the United States, but it's in the United States. I could go and, and check, and the um, this is the. Um, the area that I'm flying over. There's my plane right there.
See B fifty two G NASA heading three five two altitude just over forty thousand feet. Speed and I'm going three hundred and twenty three knots. Climb angle zero. I'm going to uh, terminate the flight because I'm using a lot of memory here. So if I want to upload the flight on YouTube, i got to keep it down to a manageable level. This takes forever to upload a large file on, on YouTube. So I'll end the flight, terminate the flight here. 